Hi, I'm Henry from Shaw.co.uk and today we're just going to do a little walkthrough of the O'Neill Psycho 1 series wetsuits um, which had a bit of an update uh, for 2015-2016 um, I just want to talk you through a few new bits of the updates. So the Psycho 1 is the uh, entry level of the Psycho series from O'Neill wetsuits so it goes Psycho 1, Psycho Tech and Psycho Freak there's a bit of a change recently with that so yeah so Psycho 1 is the entry level of the Psycho series Certainly does not mean it's an entry level suit, far from it, um, and really does offer a lot of performance and uh, some really nice new features going forwards. Uh, the biggest thing in the Psycho 1 that's changed, obviously the Psycho 1 name has been in the line for a long time, uh, is the closure system. So they have now developed a Psycho 1 with a chest zip. Well, that's new, previously the Psycho 1 was a back zip suit um, with a nice then zip closure system. Uh, that's still running through the line, but new for this year is the uh, is the front zip version. So this uses O'Neill's patented uh, Fuse closure system, which stands for front upper zipper entry. Uh, and the nice thing about this is that it has a nice, easy to use zip that goes over your head. Um, so to get into the suit, it's a very long zip, which means that you've got a lot of space to climb into. Uh, and then these two panels here, which you pull open apart and you climb into the suit. O'Neill spent a lot of time developing this system and you can see it across all of their chest zip range right the way from their top end suit all the way down to their entry level chest zip version. Uh, the nice thing about it and the reason they have spent so much time doing it is the, is the way it drains out. So if any water does get in, they've really thought about how the water is going to transition through the suit and out the back instead of hitting your body. Um, so yeah, a really nice closure system. We really enjoy this. We've all been using it for a long time now. Uh, and really does, do think it works well. So a nice easy to close zip. Uh, and then with a little tab here, a little popper, just to ensure the zip's securely closed. And that's the front zip closure system. Obviously, as I said, the Psycho 1 is available in back zip as well. So exactly the same, everything else in the suit we'll talk about is exactly the same in the Psycho 1 back zip, uh, just not the closure system. Right, so the Psycho 1 comes in a 5.4, a 4.3 and a 3.2, um, obviously depending on your water temperature. Uh, and it's made of Techno Butter 2. So going forward, all the suits in the Psycho range are made from a Techno Butter material, uh, and they start off by using the Techno Butter 2 material. Techno Butter has been around a long time now, and is really designed to give um, the next level of neoprene performance. And certainly when we've had customers try these suits on in our store, uh, they've definitely found the benefit of that material. Uh, the idea behind it is it's a lighter weight material, so there's less nylon in it which just means the suit feels a bit lighter. It's more flexible because they put less material in um, and it dries faster as well. So they managed to cut down the nylon usage a little bit and really make a new material for the industry that really is, uh, people do appreciate and once you feel it and you put on a Techno Butter suit, you do always look for that in the range. So yeah, you get that starting from the Hyper Freak all the way through to the top, top end suit um, from O'Neill. So moving through the Psycho 1, on both suits you get the double rolled neck this neck system, again, is featured on all the Psycho series, but it's a really nice touch. It basically is a rolled neck, which means there's no sharp edges or rough bits around your neck um, to, to cause any problems, irritations, or anything like that. And it also creates a really good seal as well, so if you're doing big duck dives or you're crashing with your kite, um, this seal is going to really keep that water out. Uh, it even works when it doesn't have a closure tab system, just a nice over the head on this one, works, works great. Uh, so moving through the suit, as we said, all, all Techno Butter 2 material. Um, and then we really, the next most important thing I suppose on the suit is the seams. The seams are single fluid seam weld. So this is um, a material and a way of bonding neoprene that's been around for a very long time now, but it really has proved to be very durable, strong, and last as well. And it also obviously keeps the water out. Uh, the idea behind the glue material is that it can flex in any which way you want to pull it. So obviously when the neoprene's flexing and you're putting it on or you're paddling or you're kiting, um, having this material and this glue just allows the suit to stretch in all the possible different ways. It's also been proved to last a very long time as well um, and will certainly mean the suit will outlast uh, you on the water, certainly to keep, to keep you nice and warm. So through the suit we have the five, this is the five mil version, we have the five mil panel running all the way through to the bottom of the legs. And really the thing about the Psycho 1 is it's all about flexibility. If you imagine that one big panel of neoprene that runs all the way through, really allows the suit to stretch as hard as it can um, and means that when you're out on the water, it's going to feel as good as to wearing nothing at all. It's going to be super flexible and super soft throughout. As we run further down the suit, obviously we've got the knee pad options as well. Again, the same most people ignore, but really does make a big difference when you're uh, on the beach and you're having to like, load up your kite or, or set up your kayak or something like that. It really does make a big difference. 
And there's a few other nice little touches like they put a bit of detailing around the cuffs uh, here and, and a bit on the bottom as well, just to like you know make the suit feel a bit tighter and to create a better seal with your gloves when you put your gloves on as well. Um, and just a few nice bits of bobs. So as we said, it comes in a chest zip version or a back zip version. Difference really between them is really on how much you want flexibility. I suppose the chest zip version gives a bit more flexibility across the shoulders, but does make it a bit more difficult to get in and out of. While the back zip version is a lot easier to get in and out of, but you are then, sometimes some people say they feel a bit restricted um, just due to the, the nature of the zip that runs through. Uh, it is a really nice zip system. So I nearly again have thought about this when they're developing a zip. So it's their Zen zip closure system. So the idea here being there's a back panel. So once you get into the suit, you pull this panel up uh, and then you zip over the top. What that entails is that any water that gets through doesn't touch your skin, hits the panel, and just drains out through the bottom. Uh, it's one of those things that again, it's a nice feature and sort of what you'd expect on a sort of a top to mid level suit. Uh, and really does mean that you're getting a lot of uh, performance and flexibility in the suit. Again, this suit's really aimed at the guy who wants something that's gonna be nice and flexible, yet warm enough to keep him going all through the winter. Uh, if they want to be a little bit warmer and you've got a little bit more money to spend, have a look up at the Psycho Freak in the range, which starts bringing in some single line material and some air insulated neoprene, just to ensure you're a little bit warmer. Um, if you can't stretch to the Psycho 1 level, uh, best thing to do would be look at the Hyper Freak Comp, which is just the one down. Doesn't use the same version of Techno Butter, but uses a lower, lesser quality version, but still pretty good. Um, but as we'd say, this would be where we would want to start most people for a good winter suit. So again, available in the front zip, and the back zip, and in ladies, and kids as well. Um, yeah, all available here, now at Shaw.